So what is going on everybody? I am very excited because season 11 finally started and we get to find out what is next. What happened with Anderson? What happened with Natalia Sokolov? And what is going to be the next target we go after? So Manny just told me to meet him in the White House. So let's go see what he has to say to us. Hey agent, thank you for saving my ass last night. We need to bring you up to speed on Anderson and Sokolova's new alliance. Go ahead, Fred. General Anderson's true sons are embedded with the Black Tusk and have been helping Sokolova increase her fleet of hovercrafts in D.C. After Coney Island, I'm concerned about potential mortar strikes. First up, Charles Trunks Crawford. Ex-Navy, pure sadist. An engineer by trade, he has control issues and very little respect for the sanctity of human life. Lieutenant Banton. Used to be a drone operator for the army. He believes he isn't responsible for someone's death unless he gets their blood on him. Banton will tell you he's never killed anyone because he's never had blood on his hands, but he's murdered thousands. Mort cursed Kellogg. This guy has the worst luck. Rumor is he is a compulsive gambler, got into debt with the wrong people and enlisted to try and pay back the loan sharks. They say he won the lotto on Black Friday and couldn't collect his winnings. Pretty sure loan sharks are the least of his problems now. Beatrice Anti Kaplan. I know her as Petty Officer Kaplan. She killed a guy during basic because he called her Anti. You kill a guy for giving you a nickname, and then you make everyone call you that so they never forget what happens to people who mess with you? She's petty and dangerous. And last but not least, Zachary Stovepipe Beatty. I hate this guy. He thinks he's untouchable. He used to be an explosive ordnance disposal specialist. Pretty sure it was just an excuse to blow shit up, since all he ever does now is blow shit up. <laughs> Frankly, I don't trust men that pretty. They always get away with too much shit. Stovepipe and his team are heavily armed, ruthless, and know every inch of this city. They know where to strike to do the most damage physically and psychologically. Good luck tracking them down. I look forward to working with you, Agent. Agent, we know they've got hovercrafts and mortars on their way to D.C., but we don't really know what they're planning. We've also seen an increase in hunter drones around the city. Cindy recovered a recording from one of them, but is encrypted. Wally managed to decrypt the file. She's at the castle settlement. Wally didn't want to talk about what she found on open comms. You should go meet her. Wait, the castle settlement? Hey, oh. Agent, it's Wally. We're going back Cindy's there? Cindy's been doing security sweeps and noticed an uptick in hunter drone activity. Last week, she shot one down and recovered an encrypted file. She's a good hacker, but the data was too sophisticated for her. Lucky for you, I've been hacking Black Tusk and Hunter Tech for the past two months, so this was a piece of cake. Meet me at the castle if you want to hear what we found. What? Castle settlement upgrade? No way. Oh, let's go here. Let's find out. Let's find out what's going on. Where is she? This is crazy. Find Wally in the castle settlement. Yo, this looks so different. They cleaned it up. I wonder if you'll you run into other players here now too. Hey agent, I was hoping you'd stop by. It's nice to meet you in person. I'm Wally. Recordings on the computer if you want to hear it. Oh, let's listen to what it has to say. What have you heard, Stovepipe? Rumors of outcasts working with rogue agents outside of D.C. I spoke with Cal yesterday, and he has assured me that the rumors are just rumors. The report out of St. Louis? A complete fabrication. Nothing to worry about. Even if it were true, it's an anomaly, not a trend. Nothing for you to worry about. What about supplies going through the area? We have alternate routes. There is no danger of shortages, if that's what you're worried about. Hey, you talked to Chunks? I have. I assure you, there are no shortages, and we have more than enough to sustain us. 
We are in this for the long haul. Okay. I guess she's still in contact with Calvin McManus. This day just keeps getting better and better. Cindy's keeping watch. We'll let you know if we find anything. Man, this thing's about to get kind of crazy. So we have stove pipe, but I think we can start working on chunks. So we have three control points, one bounty, one public execution, and then we can go find out what's going on with him. So let's start this and knock this out. So we just completed all three objectives to unlock the target manhunt chunks. Now, when we completed the public execution, it actually gave us this audio right here. Is it true? Is what true? What people are saying about St. Louis? I have no idea what you're talking about. Scuttlebutt is, there was an attack. You're going to have to be more specific. Outcasts and rogue agents working together. What would the outcast be doing in St. Louis? You tell me. You're acting paranoid. Do we need to worry about radiation poisoning? From St. Louis. From Outcast? No. Are you sure? Yes. If you're really worried, get a Geiger counter. Where am I supposed to get one of those? Department of Interior, Parks and Recreation, your prepper group, a spy museum, the power plant. Pick your poison. When we completed the bounty, it gave us this audio. How's morale? Great. Your team enjoying foraging? Not exactly. I told you to leave the campus alone. We did. I don't need you drawing unwanted attention before we're ready. We found a small community north of the city. Any agents? No. All civilians. Some kind of prepper or homesteading community. They were isolated and well hidden. Not that well hidden. We spotted three of them fishing and tracked them back to camp with a drone. Occupy or raid? Occupy. Left a couple of guards to keep their operation going. We can rely on weekly harvest from the farm for the troops in D.C. And they've already put up a fair amount for winter. Do you need replacements for the guards? Not yet. But we could use Transpo if you want to supply the other teams. And then after we completed all three control points, it gave us this final audio. On the Potomac, Mr. Okolova. Everything's in working order. But? Morale is low. Main complaint? The food. We got plenty of MREs, but all we got are MREs. The crew is getting enough to eat, but it's not enjoyable. You want me to find you a chef? That's excessive. But if we could get some fresh food, it would go a long way towards boosting morale. You want salads? Yes. There are plenty of wild edibles by the river. Or we could just take the campus. In time. For now, if you want a salad, go forage one. Now that we know where he is, all we have to do is go to the map. Let's find him right now. Where Where is he at? So we can complete this bounty. So we're going to go to bounties. Click on it. And he's at Lincoln Memorial. So we actually have to head to Lincoln Memorial to find him. So that that's the mission that he is going to be We located Charles Chunks Crawford at the Lincoln Memorial. So what we're gonna do is we are going to fast travel there. And let's get this bad boy done. So we just got to Lincoln Memorial and it says takeover bounty in progress. Chunks is unstable. Be Looking careful, for agent. Chunks right now. Over there. Ah. Let's find him. Oh, 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 who's that? There you go. Now you push forward. We got the Lost Boys out here trying to interfere with our mission. Oh, just unlocked a weapon skin. Okay, let's keep going. Um, let me grab some ammo real quick. Where's some ammo right here? Quick, quick, quick. Um, 
guess there's no ammo. I thought there was ammo right there. This. Now right, where you are? Come on, chunks. Where you? Oh. Stop hiding. Let's get up top here. This ain't a waste of my skills. Sure. It's a laser beam. Oh my jeez, it's so nice. Alright, let's keep going. We definitely need to find some ammo though. That's the next... Done. Damage on this is so nice though. Oh, I should just be this last guy, right? Unknown. 
Unknown network detected. I think we're good. Hostile Ooh. striker drone detected. Hostile striker drone? Everything is open right now. Oh. Encrypted file detected. Uploading to database for analysis. Oh, that was the relic. Oh, I was supposed to keep that. <laughs> That's that new name rifle. Let's see what we got here. If you guys here kind of want to get up top Sniper. Can I mark him? I just, I just need to mark him. Easy. Baby, easy. Yo, if you guys want to see the build that I'm currently using, it will be live on the second channel by the time this video does go live. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. And let's see what's next. We eliminated chunks. Now we have to wait two weeks for our next target. Is there anything else? So maybe go back to the settlement. Is that what they said? Oh, here you go. Yeah, let's go back to the castle settlement and plug this in. Let's plug this in and see what... I want to assure you that this is merely a hypothetical question. Okay. Hypothetically, what would happen to a mortar operator if they were to use a launcher that had previously housed a dirty bomb? Too many factors to consider. Exposure time, amount of radioactive material, amount of transfer, what kind of particulate? It wouldn't be instantly fatal? Of course not. We're exposed to radiation every day. By the time you're showing symptoms of radiation poisoning, it's generally too late. Thank you, Chunks. Why are you asking? No reason. I just like to be prepared for all scenarios. If you're worried about exposure at the plant, you should start taking iodine to protect your thyroid. That's very useful information. What Guess we should start looking for natural sources of iodine just in case. Should probably start eating more fish and seaweed from Mari's exhibits at the aquarium. My question is, what are they planning on doing? 
Holy. I don't know, guys. I actually like where the story is going. I, I, I wonder what's going to happen at the end of this. Um, how close will we get to Nat and Natalia Sokolov after this? Just so many unanswered questions. And this is why I personally like doing these manhunts because we learn a little bit more about the division and it's always fun to know a little bit more. So it was kind of cool to see, finally see the castle settlement alive again, useful for something. So it's definitely cool to see after all this time because that was like one of the big surprises for me. But now we do have to wait for the rest so we can find out more. So let me know what you guys think about this. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. And if you guys want to know anything, use the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, ain't nothing but skills out.